looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order hello everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm going over the new ultimate legends as well as the ap ability point update for tuesday march 23rd that will be coming out guys so a few things i'm gonna go over now i'll be reading from my phone instead of taking you guys there same thing but guys before we get into this video I do want to thank you guys so much for the recent support. Thank you guys for still showing support at this time of the year. Definitely important, definitely underrated, you know, to still be coming out even when Madden's, you know, in its later phases. But if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know which one of these Ultimate Legends are your favorite, as well as, guys, if you guys need coins, for any of these players, head over to my coin bank down below and use code POOL at checkout for 5% off. Now, let's head on over to the sets, show you guys the new Ultimate Legends, make sure they're in-game and everything else. Players, we have Brett Favre, Carl Banks, and Jeremy Shockey. Oh, sorry, no, not Jeremy Shockey. And the LTD, I just read that in a row. Brett Favre, Carl Banks, and the LTD, which is going to be Jari Evans from the Saints. I believe he's a left guard, maybe a right guard, I forget. Now, Carl Banks is cool. Not saying his stats are great, but he's cool because he is a Giant, so that definitely keeps helping out them Giants-themed teams. Well, let's go check them out, guys. The sets still remain the same. You guys know the deal. Nothing out of the ordinary in terms of sets this year. But if you guys want to hear about the AP and you stay tuned to the end of the video, of course, because that's when I will be going over that after we get through the players. Well, let's go check these out. Now, guys, like I was saying, I was voicing my opinion. Ultimate Legend Pack should not still cost 160-ish K or whatever they cost. That is way too much. That is unnecessary. That is not humane to charge money on a pack that that, that expensive when more than, and, and, you know, at least right now, the Ultimate Legends have some value, right? There's some value to them. But in the next few, but here's the issue, in like a month or two, those Ultimate Legends are going to be going for like 100k to 200k. And those packs will still be 160. So you could pull one of the best Ultimate Legends and literally make like 80k after reduction. Or pull a decent one and lose money. Or you could just pull nothing, which more than likely you could open up three of those packs and pull nothing. You're down over half a million coins and you didn't pull anything. So that, that's just my concern with those packs. Hopefully they do end up addressing them and updating like I've been saying. Because I know in the past they have updated them. But sometimes they take so long that, okay, like, thank you. You updated the price of Ultimate Legend Packs in uh, June, July, and no one plays the game anymore. I still want to get to that point. But here we go. We have Brett Favre on the block. Let's start with him. He's already at a million point two. That's expensive, actually. Uh, Brett Favre, 80, 98 overall strong-arm quarterback. So, of course, because he is a strong-arm quarterback, he's going to be liked by many strong-arm quarterbacks and, of course, field generals. Those are what we've been focusing on this year. Now, Favre, of course, has one of the best releases in Madden, you know, one of the quickest uh, passing animation releases. So, he's been loved by many. He's kind of like Aaron Rodgers difference is he has a decent amount of speed on this card which he didn't have on the last card of course now this card can be powered up which is great too now let's go over stats 81 speed good not great or i should say above average not good right we'll call it average at this point now next guys we have 99 throw power now 99 throw power of course doesn't even matter he didn't even have to have 99 because of course uh any of the cameras would have gotten him up to 99 96 throw short 94 throw medium 95 throw deep key there is that all those will be above 95 powered up and chemmed up 97 throwing the pressure 95 throwing the run 95 play action so powered up and chemmed up he will have 99 throw short 99 throw medium and he will have 96 throw short uh 30 he's gonna be great he's gonna he's probably the best quarterback in the game uh because of the end the release the abilities as well as the throw power and everything else guys the speed he's gonna be probably the best quarterback in the game Behind the card stats, does he have anything good? Change of direction, not so great. Um, break sack, 88. That's, you know, decent, above average. I would say Brett Favre is probably the best quarterback in the game. If you see his career stats, pretty cool. It's right where my face would probably be. 71,838 passing yards or total yards and 508 touchdowns. That's absurd, guys. But he did play for a while. You know, he, he got around a little bit, you know, Packers, Vikings. But his career just felt so long. Like, it was a long career, which is great. Nothing wrong with that. He had a great career. All the way to the end, you know, he was, he was pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, he's gone now, but he definitely had a great, great statistical career, especially. Next, we guys, we have Jari Evans, which is, uh, let's see. Oh, he was right guard. Okay. I knew he was one of the guard uh, spots. For the Saints, he did have, I believe, a team diamond this year. I could be wrong. It could have been last year. I get mixed with those team diamonds. But let's see. So, he has 94 strength, which is good, not great. 97 awareness, which is great. 97 pass block, 95 pass block power, 97 pass block finesse, 97 run block, 95 run block power, 99 run block finesse. So Jari Evans is actually one of the best right guards in the game, of course. And he will be one of the best run blockers. Powered up in Kemp, guys, he may get up to 99 run blocking all around. And then pass blocking will be pretty close to 99 as well. 
he's amazing 318 six foot four 94 strike now guys he has 85 excel for a guard which is pretty good the speed's a bit lower than i would have liked maybe like a 77 so an 80 would have been cooler but again that's still really good 85 excel on a guard you can never really overlook that um lead blocking is gonna be 99 powered up and chem uh, chemed up impact blocking is a 94 guys jerry evans is amazing gonna be one of the best pulling guards in the game you know good enough speed and excel as well he's great and now guys we have our final player which is going to be uh let's see carl banks left outside linebacker for the giants he's a run stopper here so let's check this out 91 speed 95 excel 92 strength 96 tackle 94 play rec 99 block shed 90 power move and 81 finesse move not going to be a great pass rusher unfortunately now if he has a good zone coverage with that block shed guys he'll be the perfect kind of three four like you know you have lawrence taylor rushing one side and you have carl banks popping out into coverage on the other side which is great because if they run so that if they run He's coming in for the run stop, right? He's right there by the line. But if they pass, he can also pass ball. He can also cover any six foot four. So it really comes down to his zone here. That's going to be the key to this card. Without the zone coverage, he's just going to be a bad pass rushing run stuffing. Decent speed, you know, 94 speed is nothing to, you know, crap on, but rather have Lawrence Taylor, right? Comes down to the zone coverage. Uh, impact block is 97. And his zone's only a 78. So no, this card's not good. I mean, had he gotten 90 zone coverage, I would have been able to say, okay, He's amazing, right? Because he could he could pop out into a zone. You could put him on the line, though, right? So he'll be great at stopping the run, but he can also pop out and play zone, but you don't got to rush both of them. You could just rush one and keep him, like, popped out. He's super fast for a linebacker with, you know, the speed and everything. But no, he's not going to be great. He's not that great of a linebacker, especially an outside linebacker. The thing is, linebackers this year are purely on the line, right? We don't use them in coverage anymore, really. So if he can't play coverage, especially, then he needs to be a great pass rusher. So no one's going to use this card more than likely. He's going to, you know, only 81 finesse move, only 90 uh, power move. Great run stuffer, but there's a lot of guys, like I said, Ricky Jackson, who gets 99 blocks, should end pass rusher. Why would you go him, right? Now, we're done with the ultimate legends, guys. Personally, my ranking, Carl Banks last, Jari Evans second, Brett Favre first. It's pretty obvious. Brett Favre looks like a goon. He's going to be a great quarterback. And, of course, Jari Evans would have been higher. His stats are great, but he's a lineman. You know, you can only put them so high. But, uh, guys, for the AP announcements real quick, so let me just read this off to you guys. Uh, this update goes live Tuesday, March 23rd. So AP limit update. Offense and deep defense AP limit increased from 12 to 15. So you can't put more AP on your team now. Special team AP limit increased from 2 to 3. That's pretty cool. QB playmaker. Now 10 AP. That's a lot for improviser archetypes. So that only changed for them. Playmaker for halfback, wide receiver, and tight end. Now 6 AP across the board regardless of archetype. Route tech, halfback, wide receiver, tight end, plus 1 AP to all archetypes. One step ahead for middle linebackers, outside linebackers, cornerbacks, free safeties, and strong safeties is now 6 AP across the board, no matter who you put it on. Deep route KO for cornerbacks, free safeties, and strong safeties is now plus 1 AP. Medium route KO is plus 1 AP to all archetypes. As well, Lurker is minus 1 to all archetypes. That actually just got cheaper. Oh, no, for only middle linebackers, outside linebackers. Lurker for free safeties and strong safeties actually went up 1, so it's the reverse. Inside stuff for middle linebackers, outside linebackers went down 1 AP. No outsiders for middle linebackers, outside linebackers went down 1 AP. No outsiders for uh, inside and outside linebackers went down 1 AP. Goal line stuff for middle inside linebackers and outside linebackers went down 1 AP as well. Edge threat elite for all archetypes went down 1 AP for defensive tackles, defensive ends, and outside linebackers. And then enforcer for middle linebackers, free safeties, and strong safeties went down 1 AP for run support, free safeties, and strong safeties, and down 1 AP for field general middle linebackers. That was a mouthful. Hopefully, you guys understood most of that. If you guys didn't go over to Madden NFL Direct on Twitter, they posted a form. You can read it all there if you guys want to read it in depth and, you know, kind of take a look. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Head on down to Mudcoin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. And, of course, guys, subscribe, turn the notification bell, like the video. Let me know down below your favorite Ultimate Legend from this week's drop. I'm out. Peace.